got to get to our games, man. We got to make our picks. I know you're about to get hot, aren't you? You want to do it? Well, you've been 11 and 6 and 10 and 6, so I'm going to let you go first this week and I'm going to follow your lead. I think no, you because won't follow although my you lead. didn't you didn't hit the parlay last night? Man. You didn't hit the parlay last night. You're on the right side though. Yeah. yeah, yeah, hit the spread. I had a feeling the Bengals would win by more than three and a half. That hit, but yeah, once you don't hit that parlay, and it looked like it was never even, we weren't ever even sniffing the parlay. Yeah, it kind of took a little steam away. It sucks, doesn't it? AJ? This is what I have to do. This it yeah. sucks, doesn't it? Whenever you get people to like believe and buy in, and you believe and you buy, mm -hmm. think about an annexation of Puerto Rico. Yeah, uh -huh. I, yeah, believe me, I was watching that. I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's heartbreaking. Heart heartbreaking. Yeah, I was it really just is. Say, it's heartbreaking, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. I wake up feeling like a, an asshole. I'm, I'm like, mm -hmm. and I get people tweeting me, oh, Pat makes money off of every person that rides alongside his parlays anyway. It's like, fuck you, dude. Yeah. All right, so now you're saying that I openly made a bet. This is just like the people that are assuming that every doctor that's in Miami signed off an implant. <laughs> yep. So now you're assuming that I'm making bets alongside FanDuel that get very close and are inevitably heartbreakers yeah, what's the point so that? that I can... Yeah, like it, I can't grow they, up. I what do we do? do? It's tough. Grow it's up. tough, March. though, isn't it, AJ? Yeah. This morning you were having conversations with yourself. Me yeah. too. This happens to me. Last That's night. why you have. Hey, you have Sunday Super Boost too, AJ. Let's go. Oh, hey, let's go, go, AJ. Let's, do it. let's yeah, put yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah. Cannot go, wait, man. That's gonna, that one's gonna hit for sure. But let's get the game. Pop that slate up there for us, guys. All right, we're gonna start the first one. The London game, 9:30 a.m. Eastern for us. Vikings taking on the Saints. The the Red Rocket himself is the starter for the Saints. And the yeah. Vikings are, what, three-point favorites here over the Saints. What are yeah. you doing, Pat? Give me the Saints plus three. Wow. Andy Dalton is a guy that I've Man. talked about, you know. And Connor wants to crown another ginger Jesus. Not Absolutely. so fast, my friend okay. Lee Corso would say. Yeah. Andy Dalton still has an incredible arm. He has an opportunity to have a team around him now, which he hasn't had in a couple different spots. And he's his first game. It's England. Weird shit happens. Give me the Saints plus three. Starting center is out, and so is Michael Thomas. For the All Saints. right. Give me the Vikings minus three. <laughs> okay. Ooh, thought you needed to know that. Too. Yeah. I See, Thank you. Con, Con mentioned that earlier before you were on, and I was thinking that the whole time. And, and uh, although I think Andy's going to play all right, I'm taking the Vikings here, too, at minus three. So, happy Well, to Justin it. Jefferson wants to put on a show. That's yeah. right. Exactly. You know? Remember the grit tea and, oh. in London? Grit tea and? Crumpets. Grit tea and crumpets. Who did that? You no, hear that's that? what he will do. Oh, it's what he will do. Didn't Just someone do that? I thought it was like a skit or something. Somebody did. I don't think so. Did you just take a photo? Titans Colts. Oh, Who's he talking to? Oh, he's talking to someone. Talking. He's talking to Shotgun Mustache to sh Guy. Oh. No, it's not. It's not Shotgun Mustache Guy. It's incredibly. It's guy who did his own beard. beard guy. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's incredibly grim beard guy. He oh. took a screenshot on the computer that came into my ear. It literally sounded like flashing. Lie, lie, lie. While you lie. guys were talking, I was like, like, kind of, oh my God, what the hell is going on? I thought somebody was attacking me from over here. Instead, it was just incredibly talented, bearded guy <laughs> oh, doing a screenshot, guy. hopefully telling people, you know, how good of a job he did because you kicked ass, buddy. I want to let you know. All right, let's dive into it. I got. I got the Vikings minus three. What do you, who do you have, AJ? Yeah, I have Vikings minus three as well. Next one, we got Titans at the Colts here. Titans are what? Titans are three and a half point dogs. Am yeah. I, you want me going that way, right? Jeez. Where are you going, AJ? Titans three and a half point dogs against the Colts. I know Jim Irsay gave the rally cry right on Twitter. He wanted everyone being super wow. duper loud. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure if Darius Slinger is playing yet, but I would assume no. Hey, yeah. hey, uh, hey, hey, hey! What? Did you see that quote from him, AJ? I did see that quote. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, Why? Right. Why don't you like that? Somebody needs to fucking remind him who he is, dude. What was it sounded like his quote saying? What he if he's not a hundred percent, he doesn't want to hurt his team. Basically, right? Yeah, it wasn't that, though. It was at the end. He was talking about Zaire Franklin. He was having an incredible yeah. incredible season. We're very thankful yeah. for Zaire Franklin. But he said something along the lines like, hey, Zaire's playing better than I would play. It's like, hey, Darius, hey, yeah. Shaq, shut the fuck up. Get your, you are a Shaq <laughs> Leonard, dude. Yeah. You're a defensive MVP. Somebody needs to tell him, like, hey, you're a dude, bro. You I would assume I mean? he knows. I assume he knows that, man. I assume he's dude, doing he that. Didn't tell is he doing it to motivate himself? What's he doing? It? Why is he saying it then? Because I think somebody needs to remind him who he is. All right. And well, I think I got to talk to him Sunday at Lucas Oil. Yeah. Before the game. And I'm happy I said what I said to him. I was like, hey, we need you. We need you. We need you. Because, like, damn, we do need him. But hearing his quote almost made me think, like, has he forgot? It seems like he's forgot, you yeah, know, that he's the he guy. Is. And we can't have that. You know, like, Shaq, you're the guy. Hey, Shaq, I got the Colts minus three and a half. 
because you're the guy. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Need your back. Need your back. Well, Shaq, you you are the guy, and I have the Titans at minus three and a half oh. because I'm not sure you're playing this weekend. Oh, you want to so. take the Titans minus three and a half? Is it minus, they plus three and a half? He said it. He no, said it. Oh no, I got nope. plus three and a half. You, you got, got a minus. Spread. spread. All right. You, you guys got a know. minus. You guys know what the board says. I have the Titans at plus three and a half right there. That's gonna be a good one. Bears Giants. Here we go. Mm, poop bowl. Bear down. Poop bowl. What do you mean? I mean, this game's going to stink. Two and one, but both these teams fucking stink. What? I don't. I think there's a lot of Giants fans that would argue right a lot now. Of with Bears you, Ty. fans too. Yeah, okay. a lot of Bears fans. What do you think about the Bears? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about are Bears fans arguing with you? You don't think they're sold? The Bears? They're going to be. They have a program that's going to run the table and maybe win everything this year. I don't think so. No. I don't think so. Okay. Ah. There's a chance. Who's the favorite here on this one? Giants. Giants. Giants are three Minus point favorites three. at home, I guess. Yeah. That's don't they always give people three points at home and that the old the old no, I don't think that's real. I don't either. I don't think it's real. I don't I disagree I think, with it. I think it depends on places. Yeah. I think we actually talked to uh Irish bloke. John Sheeran. Uh, oh yeah. John Sheeran. And he told us he said some places or whatever. I sorry, Irish people. All right, Slancha. <laughs> you guys treat me like shit in your country, anyways. My name's Patrick McAfee, so I don't care. But like he came on and said, like, some places it matters. Some places it doesn't. So it like the old adage, it's all oh, it's always three points for home field. Like, I don't think that is necessarily true anymore, although it might have been. Give me the Bears, dude. Let's go. Oh, oh yeah. Fair enough. Hey, let's go, Z. Plus Jeez. three on the Bears. Man, I do. Man, this is a tough one for me. I'm taking the Giants here, though. <laughs> I, I like the, I gotta take the Giants here and Saquon still continuing to roll. Yeah, SoFi is one of those places I know. I think that he mentioned that that home field, you get three points, is not real. because yeah. There is no home field there anymore, exactly. is there? Yeah. That's what it feels like. Well, yeah. that's what, hey, that's what Mrs. Stafford has said. Uh-huh. Yep, it's Been good going. point. I more, Matthew. Than, more than just her, I feel like other people have said the same kind of stuff. I bet you there's a lot of Rams families that have openly expressed, like, you know, we have no home games. So, uh <laughs> We don't even get treated nice in SoFi. Yeah, we get stinks. we get told we get told to get the fuck out of a stadium in away games and at home games. Same thing. What I mean, and can we just we won the Super Bowl. Game? We won the Super Bowl as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a tough thing. I so I assume when Matthew and Kelly are talking, it's like a voice of the entirety of that squad over there. Yeah. They'll figure it out. Bills, Ravens. Bills are coming back full force. Although hides out. Is Poyer playing? Do we know if Poyer's playing? Mm, I not do yet. not think there's been an update, update on him. <clears throat> It feels like they want us to take the Ravens here, Ty, AJ, don't you think? Yeah, they do. Giving them three at home. Yeah. I'm home taking dogs. I'm taking the Bills here, Pat. Have to. Yeah. D tackle for the Bills is out. Jordan Phillips. That yeah. was not out. I just think I think Josh Allen, everyone, like they're gonna get back on track. We spoke to Von Miller yesterday. That dude is dialed in. I feel like people will follow him. The Ravens secondary has not looked good, and no. Josh Allen some free and Diggs, runners, right? Yeah, yeah they've had big time. Two yeah. or three. Give me the bills. Give me the bills. Give me the bills. Give All the bills. right, we both are, we both have the bills there. I what? love Lamar. Lamar's in a fuck you pay me right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it, it might be not, a shootout. It could easily be a shootout. All right, so let's go Bills and over. Okay. Okay. Let's take Bills. Bills and over. I got you. I'll, I'll ride with you on that one. All right, Chargers oh, at the us. Texans. How is uh How's Herbert doing? How's his health? Do we know anything more? I think he's still banged up. Like, is he going to be banged up for the next eight weeks? Yeah, where's that? Anyone pull up Twitch. Who's Twitch? Mitt, Mitt, where are you? We has he done that count. since? Has he done that since, by the way? No, I, I do not believe he might so. be a uh, team uh, told him to get the hell off of Twitch for the four seasons. No, the you don't say. I swear. <laughs> yeah, I swear. Man. So where's, who was, um, what's the next one up there, guys? Five and a half, Chargers, Texas. Jeez, five and a half is a lot. All right, I'm taking, you know what? I got to stick with the, I'm taking the Texans here at five and a half point dogs at home. Give me the Chargers just mm. because it feels like that's way too many to be yeah. uh, favored by. So somebody knows something. I love Dougie, Dougie, Douglas, Dougie. Yep. yep, yep, Dougie. You got it. Dougie's worse. Dougie Davis. Dougie. Dougie Davis. Give me the Chargers uh, just because of what happened last week. Okay, what this this is unprecedented right here. I'm guessing Seattle goes to Detroit and Detroit is favorites two weeks in a row, right? Wow. Yeah. And an unprecedented move. That's yes. that's never happened before. Well, no, we weren't favored last week, but the last time oh. we were home, we were favored. Oh, that's right. My bad. Was two just... straight home favorites. Bingo. Go. Let me yeah. tell you guys this one. No DeAndre Swift. Ooh. No Saint right. Brown. But you do right. have a pissed off Dan Campbell from what happened last week. And also, the Lions did oh, yeah. cover last week. They continue to cover. Mm. So I'll just throw that out there for you. And that speech dude that's playing. Who is? The guy who gives all the inspirational speeches. Yeah, Jamal Williams had a great game last week. Yeah, yes. and Skip. Who? 
Skip. Or skip, 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 skip. Seattle is four-point dogs, huh? I'm, you know what, Pat? I'm going Lions here at minus four. No, no. Let's go. Oh, okay. What? Why'd you say no? no I, I thought I misheard you there. Give me the Seahawks. Who's FaceTiming Sorry, somebody? Wow. Someone FaceTiming somebody? I don't think so. Get Dude, your shit together. I can hear it Dude, in my ear. Someone's FaceTiming. Oh, shut up. Saints, Steelers. Saints at <laughs> Steelers here. Plus three. Jets are three-point dogs. Going to the Steelers, really? Mitch? Zach Wilson. Mitchell Trubisky, favorites oh. at home. Is Zach Wilson starting? He is back. He is back. We heard that is earlier. Is Menka playing? Uh, uh, yeah, he was back I think he practice. was back, right? Yeah, yeah he, he has yeah. He practice. Protocol, right. but I think he's, he's progressing through the process of the protocol, whatever that may be right now. Who you All like? Right, give me the Steelers. I like the Steelers. Steelers, that, Steelers. Yeah, yeah, I got Steelers here too, for sure. Steelers three with, at minus three at home. Yeah, got it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Jags, Eagles. This is an awesome game. We were yes. talking about this one earlier. Jags are six and a half point dogs in Philly, but man, what's going to happen here? The Jags could win this thing. Like, who do you have here, Pat? Give me the dogs, Philadelphia Eagles. I mean, the dogs are the Jaguars, but the Philadelphia Eagles have actual dogs on the roster. And the head coach says he's a dog and he wants to be around a bunch of dogs. Dog. They're basically just a dog house and they love it that way. Uh, I like the Eagles minus six and a half at home. Although I do appreciate the fact that the Jacksonville Jaguars are back. Okay. I got respect mm -hmm. and nothing but love for what the Jacksonville Jaguars have done. I just really enjoy this Philadelphia Eagles team and it doesn't feel like this. This is the week where they have a letdown for whatever reason. It's a home game. Right. It's early in the season. They haven't really had the opportunity to enjoy their win streak too much because the Philadelphia Eagles fans are going to be on top of them this week. Mm -hmm. Give me the Eagles minus six and a half. All right. With that being said, give me the Jags at plus six no. and a half in Philly. Next one up. Browns traveling to Atlanta to take on the Falcons. The Browns are one and a half point favorites here on the road. What are you thinking? I like the, uh, the Brownies. Uh, nope. Check that. Falcons. <laughs> Ooh. This one's tough for me, but I, I am taking the Falcons, too. I was leaning Browns a little bit early. I Daryl is questionable. Uh, Give me the Browns. Yeah, I'm, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to take the Browns, too, then. What is it, one and a half? Yeah. Yeah, I like, the Browns. I like the Browns here. Literally, as I was picking the Browns, Cordero Patterson jumped over something in my brain and ran across it to the other side. And then AJ, who or AQ, who did the in the trenches, says, hey, this Falcons team – Oh, yeah. Is a lot better than anybody could fathom. Yeah. Yep. So, like in my eyes, I thought immediately, oh, the Falcons are probably gonna. This is probably a game where the Falcons win, and everybody goes, oh, look at the Falcons. But if you're saying Cordero Patterson's out, is that what you're saying? He practiced today. He did not practice earlier in the week, but today is his first day back. He's playing. Oh. He's definitely playing. Give me playing. the Falcons. Give me the Falcons plus one and a half. All right, I'll Give stick with my my Browns pick there, minus one and a half. Next one, the Washington Commanders travel to Dallas to take on Jerry and the boys and Big Mike. And Dallas is a three point favorite here. What do you have? You tell me. Dallas, minus three. Me. Me too. Let's move on. I don't want to have to get into the full. I like the way Carson plays. Yeah. Nick is reckless. But. He's reckless. <laughs> but he is. And with that Dan Quinn defense. You're right. Can't be I, reckless against I mean, that D. They're going to turn the ball over and they're going to hit you hard. Okay. Cardinals at Panthers here. Cardinals are one and a half point dogs on the wow. road against the Panthers, which have the Panthers proved that they're a squad yet? No. Have the Cardinals. No. That's why they're one and a half point favorites, right? The Christian dogs. McCaffrey is questionable. Yeah, what did he, he he had weird comments saying like, oh, if I take a leak, they put me on the injury report, but he's been on the injury report every day. Yeah. So yeah. is he practicing? Is that really what he said? Yes. Yeah, didn't he say yeah. something like to, that? To the media last week, yeah. yeah. Or maybe it was this week. He said, if I take a leak, they put me on the injury report because of who I am? Yeah. He said, maybe he said, if I go to the bathroom. So he could have been talking about dumps. So, okay, if I take a dump, they put oh. me on the report. So Let's not talk about that. You guys heard what I did this morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I did not, but that's fine. Call in the group group text. Text. Yeah, you Open put in the group eyes. text. I was driving a car, guys. I'm being responsible. Nah, oh yeah, either. sure. You're responsible driving. Being responsible driving a car. Yeah. Okay. Fuck off. I have, I'll look at it. I'll look at that one at the break. What you do? Okay. Whatever happened, I don't even know. I'm guessing you took your pinky ring off, or you smeared it poop on it accidentally. Well, I did take the pinky ring off. And, uh, <laughs> I absolutely demolished. Okay. <laughs> A student in and toilet. And there was, uh, Is the door lock? Yeah, yeah. Lock the door. Yeah, Only one good. person in there, oh, right? Yeah. The dream for you. So that's, yeah. that's good and bad, you know? Because there's like a line that's of people, you... line of 12 ladies waiting to get in when you get out. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And uh, <laughs> it's. I think with that particular 
bomb that I dropped. It's going to be tough to say it was from the person before, before me because it, <laughs> it was potent. There was, um, there was no fan switch oh, either. No. Mm. Oh, no. You hope you so flushed nine just, times. It's a nightmare. I did. I tried to flush as soon as I could, but <laughs> the first one went down, and then you know, I was refilling back up, and it was a slow refill. So you know what that oh, no. means. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is yeah, terrible. Paint the toilet. No, not just that. You can't get rid of it as quick because you got to wait on the water to refill so you can get enough power to fucking flush it again. That smell just lingers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would say the total time was probably four and a half minutes in there, three and a half. Oh, God. That's efficient. Yeah, it's not too bad. Try to get six flushes in, only only able to get two. So, (laughs) Kind of work with what you got. Anyway. It's kind of tough. uh, You got Lee Corso's mom banging on the door trying to get in after you. Well, Lee Corso's mom, right. you said? Yeah. You, what are you AJ? trying to say? Lee Corso's mom. I'm guessing she's not We don't not know. Around. You're, oh, good. You guys, well, rest you guys in go peace, assume. Then. Yeah. All you right, guys assume stuff, Jeez. then. Assume I, stuff. I mean, what's the next 130? game? 130? What do you think? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. She was 20 during sorry. the Great Depression. She was a great lady. Yeah. Have some She was a great lady. You guys have no class. What's the next game up, guys? Speaking of I mean, what am I supposed to do every Friday? I land immediately, go to a university building. What am I supposed to be doing? I thought you I thought for sure if that sweet old lady is your flight attendant, you just dump right there in that plane. Well, with the way my schedule is, it that ain't the time. Oh, you know, gotcha. the time is like right before show starts. It's Bingo. almost like my bladder gets it. Like, hey, all right, now we got to kind of clear the air here. It's yeah. going to go in. Of course. So whenever you're on a road, it's just not great. Hey, speaking of your dumps, it's not great. Cardinals, Panthers. Who you have here? Cardinals. I got the Cardinals here, too. Okay. Let's see. Broncos are traveling to play the Raiders here. Broncos are, what, two-and-a-half-point dogs mm-hmm. on the road to get play the winless Raiders. What are we doing here? Okay. this is Actually, you know what? I'm interested to see what both these teams are in this game. What do you think? Ty. Yeah. What did Mark Davis say to Josh McDaniels on Monday morning in the office? Please tell me. He said, listen, you either need to start winning – or you need to buy me a couple new Nintendo Switch video games, okay? I got to go okay. dinner, guys. Sorry. Get it figured out. Whew. I don't think that's enough to motivate Josh McDaniels, you know? I don't think that was enough. No. Give me the Broncos and that defense to continue to be problems uh, for offenses. We shit on the Niners and how they produced against this Broncos team. Then we started seeing some film from numerous people this week who are better at football than we are. And they're saying, Hey, this Broncos defense is not getting anywhere near enough credit. So I think they'll continue to do their thing. Give me the Broncos plus two and a half. The Raiders will figure it out at some point, maybe, but I think the Broncos defense is going to be a massive part of this storyline this weekend. I'm with you on the Broncos. D is great, and I think they will play very well, but I think the uh, the Raiders find a way to get their first win here, so I'm uh, taking Raiders minus two and a half. I feel like we've disagreed on a lot today. Yeah, yeah well, that's not good because you're hot and I'm cold. So, well, you now, know, I'm that's great then because you, I, I have to get cold, so if I'm cold, you're hot this week, right? No, you don't have to get cold, AJ. You're never going to I'm not going to. Hot. These are all going to hit. I'm not going to. I'm just trying to make you feel better about your picks. There's not too don't many. Don't try to make me feel better. Dude, I handed you the super boost. So, like, every time we were opposite, you heard me go, fuck. Because I know the super boost is going to hit that you're going to put in there, so that means I'm wrong. So, okay. we're on your train right now, Good. AJ. We're riding on your wings, pal. You see us right here? You see us right here? Yep. You see us? There's three of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what that is. What are you trying to show? That's under your. That's us under your hawk wing. Oh, 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 my bad. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, get it. K A J. Yeah, we're under no. your wing. Sorry. Okay. Hey, K A J. See okay. that? I'm talking directly at a wall oh, right look, now. Oh, look, that is. That looks good this right here. Much better yeah. visual. See, look, effect. I can point right at you. Oh yeah, and look at that. I can <laughs> do it as well. <laughs> that's good. Okay, oh. nice. What's the next game? Oh my goodness! Here we go. Mm-hmm. The McCorkle Bowl. I don't know if you know this, but they act like Mac may play. I don't see any way Mac plays. That looked like the most painful situation in the history of the planet, and you're telling me the guy's going to play six days later? Unless this is a Paul Pierce poop situation, you know, which Boston, I guess, and New England area has been used to happening. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think he's playing. Now, Mm -hmm. you have to go in. Is Hoyer that big of a drop-off from McCorkle, or is Zappi that big of a drop-off from McCorkle in this offense, in this particular situation? I'm not sure. I don't know. I haven't watched Mac enough, but it sounds like Connor's given up on him. Connor, can you tell me more? Haven't given up on him completely, but definitely don't know if the drop-off is as massive as it might be for some other teams. 
Well, and also as massive as we thought it would be earlier in the season, right before the season started, when we thought Mac was going to maybe be an MVP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. And although the first game they were bad, the second and third game their offense played pretty well. So if Hoyer comes in and he doesn't throw four or five picks, I think we could be in this one. Okay. It's a pretty big be spread, though, one. isn't it? What is the spread? Nine and a half. Nine and a half. That is so much. But I got Green Bay, obviously, here, nine and a half. I think that's a lot of points. And I think Ty was talking earlier, like, Belichick doesn't get blown out a lot. But we'll see what happens on this one. I still got to go Green Bay. Yeah, give me uh, the Green Bay, too, uh, just strictly because of our Tuesday conversations with a guy. Have to. You know? Of course. Don't want to be the one that picks against him, especially going against a backup quarterback, you know? Yep. Smart. Uh, so I – so I'm gonna pick them. I'm gonna pick them, good and pick. I think like the Packers' defense, pretty good. Yep. Yeah. So pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I think their front will find a way to get pressure as well on whoever is playing quarterback. The last one, right? We're doing the Chiefs Bucks game. That's Sunday night. Okay. Chiefs are one point favorites heading to Tampa. Here we go. Your right foot. Oh, there my you. bad. Am I stepping on things over here? Yeah, you're like yeah. Frankenstein's monster. Just relax. How about you relax back there behind the glass, bro? No, you make all kinds of static. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, okay. All right, Nick, we'll talk about it. <laughs> Just stop stepping on I the I can't hear anything wire. because my mic pack, that's what I'm trying to get that going again. I got the Just Kansas City Chiefs. It's that's what I was doing. I got the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> Who turned it down? Nobody turned it down. It got knocked turned down in my pocket because I can't find a place to clip this thing, you know? Hey, it's a tough clip. That one's a very stingy clip. I, I've struggled with it mightily as well. Can't oh, we get it on it. the pocket. I got either. it situated great. Here yeah, we go. It sounds like it. Actually, it doesn't sound like it. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have sound. <laughs> Klon. <laughs> I got who do I have? I have That's the, Klon uh, sound. Is Chiefs are talking? one point. One point favorites. I have the Chiefs. <laughs> no, they're one point dogs. Either way, it doesn't Klon. matter. They're going to win. Yeah, I like the Chiefs, too. Oh. And I think Tampa is going to experience the same thing that me and Foxy and the boys experienced on Sunday. When that national anthem is playing, it doesn't matter if you're down in Tampa and it's 400 degrees. It doesn't matter if there's a pirate ship about to launch some cannons. Whenever the singer of the national anthem gets to, uh, uh -huh. uh, 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 it's going to rain through there. And I think Tampa will have it figured out. I think they will figure it out by the end of the season. feels like we're in that early stage still where Tom Brady's, you know, trying to find it with the offense. Mike Evans is back. That is a problem. I like that Tampa team. I think in the end they're going to be a squad. But right now, off of that Colts loss last week with what happened, Travis Kelsey openly apologizing to fans. He's a massive part of the offense. I just think the Chiefs are going to handle business. But how lucky are we to have Tom and Patrick Mahomes week four Sunday night? I'm pumped for all of it, AJ. Pumped oh, for all It's going to be awesome. Do you think we're going to see, like, fireworks from the Bucks offense? Like, can Tom get it going again? Like, you think he's going to all of a sudden it's going to be a shootout maybe? So that's – I think we're too early in the season for that. Yeah. Like, I, I the, honestly The Bucks defense is legit, too. Very These good. guys can play. Yes. You know that. I agree, but Chiefs have a lot of weapons, man. Oh, a yeah. A lot of weapons. And no, I know the Bucks defense is – going to become a defense I think is going to be able to go on a championship run. I honestly believe that. But this just feels like too early of a Bucks team. And with that Chiefs team losing to the Colts last week, I think is going to be a, going to be pissed. you know, because they had a, they had a failed fake field goal. They had a muffed punt. They had a personal foul from Chris Jones mm -hmm. uh, for abusive oh language that we can't have. Yep. Not in our league. Can't do it. Go to hell, Matt. <laughs> what if that's all it was? That. Might <laughs> be. Honestly. That's abusive. That was yeah. abusive. Yeah. But you don't think. Matty, why don't you? We need to get some answers on Matty. Matty why don't you learn about Jesus Christ a little bit, AJ? Can I mean, what if that's what maybe... he was doing? What if this referee did not believe in Jesus Christ and that's what he was doing? He was trying to spread the gospel. True. Hey, join my parish. <laughs> Something like that. What if that ref is actually David Koresh? Oh no. As a African American referee, and something <laughs> was said in slight of Jesus Christ, and that ref said, "No, no, no." Not on my watch. Me and Jesus actually brothers. You know what I mean? I came from same seed. And what you just said, can't have it. Maybe that was it. That, that's what it would have to be, right? That personal to a ref to call that in that situation? Yeah, it's possible if he looked at him and, you know, had the spirit of Koresh and was like, there's women and children in here, brother. You can't say that. First down. Mm -hmm. First down. First down. That'll be 15. Game over. You lost. Congrats. That's basically what you happened. You guys should have won this game. You're going to look back on this and say, should have definitely should have won this game. Instead, you're going to lose because you thought you were funny with your little Bible thing there. <laughs> okay. Including yeah. last night, just looking at the numbers here, too, you guys are an even eight picks on the same side, eight picks on opposite side, just so we know going into the weekend.